Hey guys, I'm Chad LeCompte with Prodigy Boats. This is one of our new Evolution hulls. It's a 1751 with a mid-deck. Uh, as you can see, this deck has been dropped down, so you can put decoys and whatnot on it. Uh, we also have a new, um, a, a new accessory bar that you can purchase that comes with or without a gun holder. We'll show you both models, but uh, it'll help keep everything on the deck so it doesn't come sliding back and whatnot. We will also offer two hatches on the front deck of the Evolution hulls. This hatch is great for putting things like life jackets, maybe an anchor or what have you. This larger hatch is wide open storage for things like um, blind bags or um, first aid kits, fire extinguishers, anchors, what, whatever you'd like to store in there. Um, it's not a problem. It also has shocks and optional seat base. If you'd like a seat base on it for fishing, a lot of folks love this lower deck for fishing. Maybe it's crappie fishing or whatever. Um, as usual with all of our holes, you can get the different light bars. This is a 12-4-4 bar. That's nice and nice and uh, clean, low profile. It's removable. Um, it also has Prodigy laser cut in the back. These are our bow rails in the front. Um, we, you can get the boat with or without them. Um, they're welded on. They're very strong. Um, all Evolution hulls come with the T-lock gunnel rail that also has the rub rail outside, which will help uh, trees from uh, rubbing the paint off the outside of the boat, etc. Another new option on the Evolutions, which is a T-lock grab bar, which you can take on and off. Um, it's very easy to deal with. And we offer uh, grab handles that slide. You know, they can be anywhere on the boat. You can use as many as you like. Unlike many other boats, we also put our shark eyes on our Evolution hulls. This will keep your nav light from getting broken off the front of the boat. Some front side lights, which is another option that we offer to help uh, light up the side of creeks or decoys. Uh, that sort of thing. We offer our standard catwalks um, on these boats as well as gun trays. But as you can see, we just transitioned the catwalks down um, to the mid deck and we have our standard trays as well as cup holders, which are optional. Uh, we line our cup holders so it'll keep any kind of cup from rattling or being scratched and it'll stay there nice and tight. These new Evolution hulls all come with 24 inch sides. Um, the inside is configurable the way you'd like it. If you want a gun box or a rod box here and there, we can do any of that. Um, if you say, Chad, I don't want any gun boxes, rod boxes, I just want it wide open, we can do that as well. So it, it really doesn't matter. We can do the boxes at normal height or we can drop them down. Some people like to have the space and the deeper boxes of having them at this level, but dropping them down is, is also um, no issue. Um, we also, on our, most of our hulls run an extreme nav light, which is really nice. If you hit it on uh, sticks or trees or what have you, you know, it ain't gonna hurt it. We also offer spud poles on the boats if you would like to have that option. Um, there's holes on the front as well as the back uh, for, for using them. We've also recessed the switch panels on our Evolution hulls. Uh, this will keep things from sliding back and hitting switches. Uh, we still have the master switch on the panels as well as a 12 volt plug, a dual USB plug, and the fuel gauge. And switch panels come in six and eight switch options. Okay guys, the Evolution hull will come in a fishtail. A fishtail, this offers a great way to get in and out very easily. Uh, it's also extremely strong. Um, this bracing going back to the transom, this transom could hold a 300 horsepower motor like nothing. I mean, no issue at all. Um, we're gonna offer it with different inside configurations. You, each configuration will have a hatch. That way your battery and bilge pump and all that stuff is all stored. It's not visible, it stays clean. And then we'll offer the boxes at the back at different heights. With the Evolution hull, we're gonna offer three different bottom designs. Uh, we're gonna have a flat bottom, which is what this boat is. Uh, flat bottoms are the best as far as wanting to get as shallow as you can, uh, not getting hung on stumps, not getting hung on cypress knees. The other two options we'll offer is an eight degree V bottom with crimps. Um, I challenge you to try to make that boat slide. It's not gonna be possible. Um, it will turn as hard as you want in all conditions. Um, the other option will be an eight degree V bottom as well, but with inverted crimps. So that boat will go a, a little more shallow than the, the crimp boat, but still be um, really, really strong. As far as the bottoms go, uh, we can do 125. Everything we do is 5086. We're gonna offer this bottom um, in 125 and 157 and 190. So if you need a heavy bottom because you've got cypress knees and you're tired of tearing up all these, you know, factory boats that you're replacing them every year, calling your insurance company and they're tired of hearing from you, this is what you need. These boats are tough, tougher than what you've probably used in the past. It can be built as tough as you need and to perform pretty much as well as you need. 
Um, it's up to you. We can put any motor on these boats. We can put a different mud motor. If you don't need a mud motor and you want to run an outboard, you know, that's the reason we offer the different bottom configurations. So if you want to put a 60 Merc or a 50 Tahatsu or a 60 Tahatsu with a jack plate, with a breakaway, with a Vance, it doesn't matter. We can do any of that. This particular um, boat has a mud buddy on it. Um, this is a 40 HDR. It has reverse. It has electric trim. Um, it has the, moment, the momentary option that HDRs come with. Um, this particular one happens to be built to a Delta Level 3. Uh, it makes around 60 horsepower, is very reliable. Um, it'll push this boat as you see it about close to 40 miles an hour with one person in it. Um, we've had two people in it with nine dozen decoys, three guns, and all of our gear um, pushing 36 um, in it just today. So um, if you're looking for performance and be able to really um, outrun folks, it's a good option to look at. Um, you know, if you got some ideas on things, you say, hey, man, I really like that boat, but I want this and that, give us a call. I mean, we likely can do it. There's not much that we can't do on a boat like this.